Today, we're venturing into the world of magnets. You may know magnets as the things that stick to your fridge at home, but magnets have a lot of different and interesting uses. They can help you find your way, save files to your computer, and even make trains float. Stick around and you'll become a magnet master. What are magnets? A magnet is a special kind of object that has the ability to attract certain types of metals, such as iron and steel. Surrounding every magnet is an invisible area known as a magnetic field. When objects made of these metals enter this field, they are pulled toward the magnet. This is why, for example, paper clips will stick to a magnet when you bring them close together. Different types of magnets. There are a few kinds of magnets and they each work in their own special way. First, we have permanent magnets, which are always ready to attract metal objects. These are the kinds you might find in toys or on the door of your refrigerator to help it close tightly. Next, there are temporary magnets. These are like part-time magnets that only act like a magnet when they're near a strong one. If you've ever seen a paperclip suddenly start picking up other metal objects when it's close to a magnet, that's a temporary magnet in action. Lastly, we have electromagnets. These are super strong magnets that work when you turn on electricity. They're used in big places like junkyards to pick up large pieces of metal. You can also find them in some doorbells and even in some roller coasters to help them go really fast. The poles of a magnet. Every magnet has two special ends called poles. One end is the North Pole and the other is the South Pole. It's kind of like having a head and a tail. When you bring the North Pole of one magnet close to the South Pole of another magnet, they want to stick together. It's like they're best friends. But if you try to put two North Poles or two South Poles close to each other, they push away. It's like they're saying, nope, we're too much alike, we need some room. So remember, opposite poles attract and like poles push each other away. Magnetic fields. A magnetic field is like an invisible bubble around a magnet where its power works. You can't see it, but it's there. It's the reason why things like paper clips move toward the magnet when they get close. Want to see something really neat? If you put some tiny metal shavings called iron filings around a magnet, they will move and line up in a special pattern. They're showing you where the magnetic field is. It's like they're drawing an invisible picture in the air that only the iron filings can see. What do magnets attract? Magnets are really good at pulling certain types of metals toward them. If you've got a collection of paper clips or a pile of small nails, just bring a magnet close and watch how they stick to it. But it's not only small items like these. Magnets also have important jobs in places you might not expect. For example, inside computers, there are tiny magnets that help store all the pictures, games and documents you save. They help your computer remember things. But even though magnets can attract some things very well, there are other things they can't stick to at all. If you try to use a magnet on materials like plastic, glass, wood or cloth, you'll notice that nothing happens. These things just don't find magnets attractive. Uses of magnets. Magnets have lots of important jobs and they're not just for sticking your art projects to the fridge. You find small magnets in your earbuds, helping you hear your favorite tunes. They're in electric cars, making them run fast and smooth. Really strong magnets even help doctors see inside your body with special machines called MRI scanners. Oh, and remember when we talked about magnets making trains float? That's right, some trains called maglev trains actually float above the tracks. They use magnets in both the tracks and wheels to repel each other, making the train float above the track like magic. And let's not forget the trusty compass, which uses the Earth's magnetic field to help you find your way. Conclusion. So, magnets are not just interesting. They're super useful in so many ways. 
From having special ends called poles that either stick together or push apart, to the invisible area around them known as a magnetic field, magnets are full of surprises. They can pick up certain metals, but won't work on things like wood or plastic. And their uses are really amazing, from making music in your earbuds and helping electric cars run, to aiding doctors with MRI scans. They even make some trains float above the tracks. Isn't that cool? Now, the next time you encounter a magnet, you'll know just how incredible it really is. OK, time for a quick quiz. Don't forget to subscribe!